This is David from the Wrestling Guy store, and welcome to the Wrestling Guy podcast. I am with three guests today. I am with, well, Louis54, Lita LeMay, and Cody. Yep. Cody. Hi, um, Cody. What's up, everyone? How's it going? <laughs> tell, you got to tell me more about Cody. What were you saying? He's been on magazine covers. and Yeah, he's been in a lot of magazines with his dad, and... Uh, he has his own Facebook page, and yeah, he's, he's kind of popular. <laughs> George Clooney, <Clinton>, too. <laughs> he's probably more popular than all three of us. And that's yeah, of <laughs> yeah. His, his page has more followers than everything, too. <laughs> like, damn. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? Paint myself like a dog? <laughs> that's what I'm wondering, too. We just had a little a little dog here that they were, uh, he was uh, seven weeks old, and they were trying, it's an Australian, oh, I forgot what. What kind of, it was an Australian something. Oh, Australian cattle or something. And yeah. And um, I was like, man, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should have kept them and gotten my uh, views up on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Made him a little Instagram for himself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know I keep wanting to make one for my cat, but I already have to. I'm, it's too much. Uh -huh. I already have to. Keeping up with my wrestling one and then my personal one and I can't imagine having to do another another one for something else. <laughs> That's how I feel too. I have uh, I have uh, three: one for the podcast, one for the store, and then my personal one. It's like, oh, and then I forget which one I post on. So I'm like, <laughs> I hope I never post something personal on either one. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I pray for that all the time too. <laughs> uh, so you know what, uh, Louis, you started coming here to the store when we first opened, I think. Yeah, uh, and I had no idea you wanted to wrestle. I, I remember actually I, I was driving by this is when I had I had a car I don't have a car anymore yeah. but um, I remember passing by and I was just like what what is that you know what I mean your your sign stuck out yeah and then I, I flipped a U-turn pulled in and then that's when I walked in and I was like how long have you guys been here and I think you just said like a month or something I, you had just barely opened and I'm yeah. like wow this, this is cool you're right down the street from me and I can come in here all the time and I oh, know. I, I love that place, though. Your, your store is amazing. Uh, thank you. So, and then you, I'm upset with both of you guys because <laughs> <laughs> what was the oh. meet and greet you came? It was Layla, right? Yeah, Layla. Yeah. And you didn't tell me your valet here or your tag team partner here uh, <laughs> was, you know, was a, a little famous here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't like, I, I thought, I don't know. It, it, it isn't something we like, uh, I don't know. We didn't push that to people. It was kind of like if you knew, you knew, and if you didn't, then you would. Yeah, yeah. I like to be kind of, you know, low key, underground, private. Um, that's why I chose a different name for wrestling. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, you know, appreciate when people respect that privacy, and you know, some people know, and a lot of people don't. And you know, I'd rather grow it organically under a pseudo name. Yeah. So how did you guys come together? <laughs> I know. You're so, um, well, we were ballroom dancing because we okay. also ballroom dance. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're ballroom dance champs also. <laughs> how long have you guys, uh, uh, wait, so how long have you guys uh, ballroom danced and how long have you guys known each other then? Uh, I think it's probably like four, it's going on four years that we've mm -hmm. known each other, but dancing? Oh, go, yeah, knowing each other for four years, dancing three years? Yeah, yeah. So we started, we were dancing first, and then uh, I had like wrestling shows in between and stuff, And but I, I was still by myself. And um, I think at the time I might have still been wrestling under a mask, because the first uh, company I wrestled for had me wrestle under a mask. Okay. Uh, and then after I stopped doing that character, I kind of 
came up with my new character, which is the Louis 54, the king of the dance floor. I needed a dancing queen. Um, and I was like, of course, you know what I mean? The next step was, of course, being like, I asked her, hey, do you have any interest in being my manager in pro wrestling? And I was like, I basically need you to, just to get the crowd behind me. And also we're going to do like a dance routine as part of my entrance. Right. Uh, and basically that's all I told her. That's all she would have to do. It's of course <laughs> gotten a lot further and she's had to do a lot more than that. <laughs> but that, that was the first, that was the first. And then she said, yeah. And I don't know what, what got, what got you interested in? Yeah. What got you interested? Like, you know, I, I used to watch what, WWF a long time ago and I had a friend that went down to the training camp and, I always kind of had an interest in it. And then I had another roommate who I believe he wrestled, but I don't know, not with a big company. It was probably indie stuff. And um, just having like a stunt background, um, it sounded interesting. And yeah, I just, I thought it'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so have you, I mean, now you guys are to, uh, co-champions. And yeah. So have you taken... Some bumps or 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 Lita. <laughs> I've taken some little bumps. Okay. Um, you know, I'm from the life I've lived and the careers I've had. I'm seriously beat up and have a lot of injuries and stuff. So, you know, first and foremost is um, my safety. I don't want to paralyze myself or you know have some extreme injury. But um, I like to get out there and I like to. <laughs> Up and yeah, take you know, not some crazy, crazy mind, uh, you know, body altering bumps, but yeah, yeah. some. Yeah, and it, were they the bumps like that you expected? I mean, were the bumps like as bad as you thought they were going to be, or were they not as bad as you thought they were going to be? Not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She asked me all the time. She'd be like, "What did that feel like?" And what did that feel like? And I remember like, the first time when uh, we, I did a street fight. And I went through a table. <laughs> so she was like, like, whoa, what did like because she was kind of she was coming out later for a spot, but she yeah. was pretty much hidden the whole time. Um, so but she was like, Yeah, when I was looking behind the curtain, she's like, I cringed a little when <laughs> so I was like, she was like, Yeah, how did that feel? I was like, that was that it was actually wasn't that bad. Yeah. I kind of stung a little bit, but you know, to me something the pain usually is there for a second and then it goes away. Yeah. Um, so uh, it wasn't that bad for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. telling you, when you first came in the store, I honest, I think we found out what years later that you were training already. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't training actually. When it, what, what year did you open? We again? opened in 2013. Okay, so yeah, so I, I didn't start training until 2015. Wow. So then, so yeah, when I, when I first went in, I, I hadn't. Yeah. yeah, but it was again, it was something I always wanted to do, and I was like. Man, it's now or never because time time's ticking. Yeah, I ain't getting any younger, so it, it was. I was just like, let's just do it. <laughs> time to just do it. Stop talking about it and stop dreaming. And you know, do you like the the first character you had with the mask, or do you like the you know the, the dancing and? <laughs> uh, the, the first character, it was cool. I mean, it was kind of cool because you know the word lucha. You know what I mean? So it was kind of cool because it was a lucha character. His name was Diablo del Negro. Yeah. Um, so it was cool that I kind of had a, a, a lucha character, and kind of people wouldn't know that it was me afterwards when I would come out after the show. So I kind of like that. But but this character, Louis Fifty Four, is is me. This it's my that's you know I mean the, I get to combine dancing with it, and it's it's just who I am. And I I love disco music, and I've always loved disco music. And yeah. I've always loved Studio Fifty Four and everything that I hear about it and stuff. So. Yeah, the Louis Fifty Four character, I love the most. <laughs> you guys have your chemistry from what I uh, on all the the social media that I see when you're promoting the shows and the videos and everything. You guys have really good chemistry, especially in with the wrestling. So I'm guessing the the ballroom and the partnering in ballroom and all that help the chemistry in wrestling. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, and it also I think helps uh, helps me with my opponents too, because you know how they they say wrestling is a dance and stuff. So. Being able to transfer my partnering skills with her into the ring with my opponents and stuff, it, it, it helps a lot. 
So I'm gonna ask Lita this one, where you, did you think he was crazy when he asked you to partner with them <laughs> to do it? Your first reaction. You know, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants and that's how I've lived my life. Um, you know, when opportunities come up, I think that I like to say yes, just for experiences. Um, yeah, I don't think I ever had to think about it or question it. I was like, okay, yeah, you know, like, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You know, it's like, it's a odd experience for me. And I go, well, you know what, thanks. And, but I'm not, you know, I, this was a one shot deal and, you know, but <laughs> no, it was fun. I'm, you know, meet really cool people and it's, um, I don't know. It's a different world than I've been in before. Um, but I have a good time and, you know, everybody seems quite nice and friendly and yeah. Yeah. I think it's actually, uh, I think maybe, maybe something that sold her on to the pro wrestling too, is that we were working on lifts, um, when we were choreographing a, like a, one of our ballroom solos. Okay. Uh, well, a ballroom duet, they call them solos in the ballroom world, but it's a, it's a duet. And we were going, we were, uh, trying to come up with lifts. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, let's let's try something that they do in pro wrestling. Uh, they call it a head scissor. You're going to run at me. You're, I'm going to flip you up like this, and I'm just going to spin. You just wrap your legs around my neck. I'm just going to spin around. You know, like a hurricanrana or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just going to spin and then put you back down. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, just do it. You know what I mean? I, I think I think I've never seen it done with yeah. dancers and, and, and ballroom dance and whatever. So we might be able to do it. So let's, let's see if we could do it. And then. Yeah, she trusted me, and she totally just ran at me. I flipped her up. We spun around. She, I think she had fun because she was like, woo, and wooing and all this stuff. <laughs> and then I eventually put her back down, and we were like, everybody in the room were all that were watching because we had, a, like, the studio manager was watching, and yeah. the studio owner was watching, and one of the other students. So they, And they were all like, oh, yeah, yep, that's, that's the left. <laughs> so I, I think that that might have is what also – pulled her in because once I was yeah. like, this is a pro, a pro wrestling move. And actually she's gotten to do it in the, uh, ring. In the ring a couple times actually. What? Yeah. yeah. She's done it to me because we've had to wrestle each other. <laughs> first of all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You guys have wrestled each other? Yeah. We had a uh, uh, well so it was at Destination Six because we, we had a big storyline. Actually so during during COVID when everything was shut down, um, Destination Six still wanted to keep active. So they were like, all right, let's, let's try doing live stream matches uh, with no audience and let's see how that goes. And if it goes good, then we'll keep doing it. But, you know what I mean? Up until now, just to be safe, everything. And we were like, okay, let's do it. So we got into a really big uh, storyline there involved with that, which yeah. ended up which ended up with us having a triple threat match. It was me versus her versus another wrestler, RJ Hernandez. Okay. Um, and... Yeah, we both pinned him uh, at the at the end of at the end of the match. But during the match, yeah, she she hit the the Rana on me, and <laughs> she was going at me. <laughs> but it yeah, felt really good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right? She's getting out, she's getting out that anger. <laughs> yeah. She's probably like, "This is for all the times." So <laughs> That's actually how we became the co-champions, is because we both pinned him after. After that match, and, and that's how we got the, the title together. Oh, so, how long have you guys been co-champions now? Oh, uh, we just sell it. We just put up a video of our hundred day celebration. Yeah. So actually, so I I, I think I've been the high the destination six high desert champion for over two hundred days. Okay. But us us together, uh, it's been one hundred days as of uh, the thirtieth, right? Like the yeah, from May thirtieth. Wow. So. Dang. So when's the next yeah. show? Uh, I have one uh, in San Jose, Santa Clara, actually, uh, on the 19th, June 19th, uh, for the Western Wrestling, Western Regional Wrestling Association. There we go. (laughs) You're not taking your dance partner? (laughs) Huh? You're not taking your dance partner? Oh uh, no, she's not coming to this one actually. I'm staying home. Yeah, she she got has a little minor leg injury right now, so. Dancing or wrestling? Uh, DJ. 
DJing, ironically. <laughs> Wait, DJ? <laughs> yeah, 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 I was jumping up and down during a DJ set, and I uh, oh my calf muscle. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So. I know. Yeah, uh, you know, injuries can happen at any time. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, they're both you guys are both DJs as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do a, a live stream, a live stream every uh, Sunday at five o'clock. Okay. What kind of music do you do? Oh, we pick a, a different theme every uh, every week. Oh, okay. So, and we both have different themes, so it's it's usually whatever we like. Yeah, like feel like, you know, whatever the mood is. Yeah, <laughs> we should do one where we challenge challenge each other. Yeah, you guys should challenge each other. Right, but I know you used to DJ too, right? Yeah, my DJ name was Don't Laugh, but it was DJ Twinkie. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I never wore yellow, but I gave myself the name DJ Twinkie. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, I used to, so I, I just kept trying to, but I had the like the turntables and stuff, and yeah, I kept uh, bugging my dad to buy me the turntable. That I wanted to DJ and so bad, and so finally they they did. For, that was my high school graduation gift was uh, the whole DJ system and. Uh, but then my friend I had a friend, his name was Mario and he got really, really good at it. Cause he would come, he would come from like six o'clock and he would stay there till two in the morning. I, I, I think we drove our neighbors nuts. How we never got the cops <laughs> called on us. I don't know. Cause <laughs> that was the time when, uh, deep house music was like so big. So you'd hear boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, and he would just practice for like five, six hours every day, Friday through Sunday. Yeah. Uh, then he just replaced me, and I got <laughs> I got uh, demoted to Spanish music. <laughs> uh, was he like sc- scratching and everything? Yeah, he would scratch. Oh, yeah. He, you know, he got. I don't know how he just got so good, like mm-hmm. crazy, like scratching his his uh, what do you call it now? The the timing on the on the music and and the beat and all was just yeah. so good. Like you would yeah, never knew. Hard, yeah, yeah. I, I barely started playing with like scratching and stuff, but. I mean, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, even just even the transitioning and stuff, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Sometimes it could be hard. Do you? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Like, if I miss or I want to transition to the next song, I'm like, damn. <laughs> they got to try to find that spot again. And yeah. <laughs> I'm not so great. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you know what? Maybe you'll, maybe the, the same thing will happen. You'll end up replacing Louie just like I was replacing. I know, I, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I was so heartbroken when I got replaced. Well, and then that that's not the worst part. The worst part was he got all the girls because he was the main guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, got all the, I got all the, the drunk uncles. <laughs> <laughs> That's really yeah. So how so every Sunday you DJ, but what what kind of music do you guys really like? You know, I mean, you I know you like disco, but you know, what is is that your favorite genre of music or? Um, I I pretty much, I love everything. I have, I have favorite music in all genres. Like, I could spend country, well, old country, oh. um, like Patsy Cline and and, and uh, I don't know, but I also like classics like. Classic rock, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, R&B. My last set was uh, like slow jams. Oh, wow. What about? I mean, I like music in every genre as well. Um, I really thrive on uh, upbeat music, though. So I've done EDM set. I've done two Latin sets. Uh, did a 50s, 60s set. Oh. Ladies of the 80s. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll throw a slow one in here and there on a set, but I I like to just I don't know, be up and you know fast beat and something powerful and interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little Madonna fan, so I would I would play her a lot. I love Madonna too. Yeah. I can't. Wait. I can do a whole playlist of just her, but I haven't yet. <laughs> what? You haven't had a playlist yet? Well, no, I have playlist. Like all my things are playlists, but I, I, yeah, I don't have Madonna on any of them yet. I haven't put her. You know what? That's I it. Know. Podcast over. Podcast over. That's it. <laughs> like, over. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just talking to you. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your entrance theme? What's you guys' entrance theme? Our entrance music. I actually found a. Uh, uh, when when I was looking for music, I, I found a um, 
royalty free okay. disco song that's on YouTube. Like this guy just has a whole like, I think like five or six songs. Um, and then I just kind of listened to them and I was like, okay, this one sounds the best. And then I was picturing in my mind, I was like, okay, right here's the dance break and right here's the that, you know what I mean? So it was basically that I, I found royalty free music that is out there. And, and what's cool about it is I could use it anywhere and people yeah. won't, you know what I mean? They won't get a copyright strikes or anything like that. Yeah, you won't get flagged on like Instagram or, or Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that's the worst. Now, both of you guys, did you both, uh, I know you said, Lita said you grew up on WWF. Well, you watched it on, on WWF. And Louis, you, you, you watched WWF as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. For, I, I've been watching wrestling my whole entire life. Since I was so born. who is your guys' all-time favorite wrestler? Mine's Bret Hart. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bret the Hitman Hart. I did not <laughs> say Bret. I yeah. thought you were more of a Shawn Michaels guy. Oh, really? I mean, for, for the males. And then for the females, my favorite is uh, Michelle McCool. Which oh, I keep wow. telling, I, I, yeah, I keep telling you to, yeah, Michelle, well, Lay Cool. I love Lay Cool together. So that's why, that's why I came to, to yeah, see yeah. Layla, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why I came. I was like, okay, I know she's coming again, right? And uh, next weekend. Well, she was supposed to, but there was a contractual obligation with Extreme Expose, so they're not able to. Ah, boo. Yeah, they they were contractually obligated to make an appearance at a some wrestling convention in October. And I guess that's the first place they're supposed to all three be together. They can't do it before that. Oh, uh, okay. So it kind of killed our appearance. Yeah, yeah. Boo. Yeah. I, I, was gonna, I was gonna take my belt and have them sign it. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get it done. We'll get it done in like November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the championship but, but, behind you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, but who was your uh, yeah favorite wrestlers? <laughs> I like I like watching everybody. So back then it was uh, The Rock, it was Hulk Hogan, um, mm -hmm. Sting, uh, The Undertaker. I, I I just I like to watch it just for the visual of it. Like I wasn't like heavily invested in the stories or anything like that. It was just watching the moves and what they were doing and yeah. Yeah, because it goes back to your stuff work. Yeah, right. yeah, I was definitely into stunts at that point, and yeah, just watching like what's the difference and what are they doing? Um, how can that be incorporated, you know, into what I'm doing or vice versa? And yeah, yeah just kind of more analytical, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how how hard is the? I mean, I'm guessing they're both different, but I mean, is uh, how hard or how different is stunt work from wrestling? Um. Stunt work, you don't make contact typically. Okay. So it's always, you know, like in a near miss kind of scenario. Um, so when it came to wrestling, who was, oh, it was RJ who's like, okay, so I really need you to like, you know, kind of lean into me a little bit. And I'm like, wait, what? No, no that's not what we do. <laughs> and he goes, oh, that's what we do. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm kind of like, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Because um, yeah, you're, you're trained. You've got to help you if you hit somebody, you know, in stunts. Um, so it, it, I mean, for wrestling, yeah, I can kind of get <laughs> some aggressions out now, which is fantastic, <laughs> and not have to worry, you know, about hitting somebody because um, yeah, they want to be hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've seen some of her stunt work though. She's been like folded in half into a trash can. What? She's, yeah, she scaled down the wall on, on the side of a building and crashed through a window. <laughs> yeah, she's done some crazy, crazy stuff here. <laughs> how, how much? I mean, what got you into the stunt work? I mean, um, again, you know, it was kind of somebody told me about an audition that was happening. I should go down and audition for this movie, and I went in. Um, auditioning um, as a dancer and um, got hired. And the first day on set, the stunt coordinator asked me, you know, hey, do you see what all these people are doing? Would you like to do this? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to fly. I want to, you know, I mean, there were so many things going on in this scene. It was crazy. And um, 
I was fortunate enough to kind of learn on the job with Stunts Unlimited. It was a big Stunts Unlimited job. And um, yeah, I, I had the most amazing time. It's uh, It was the first movie that I'd been in and I was able to get my SAG card off of that. And yeah, it, it was really an incredible experience and I'm really grateful. And again, yeah, it was just on a fluke, you know, somebody calling and saying, hey, there's this audition, I dare you to go. And I'm like, I'll go, <laughs> let's, let's check it out, see what it is. And then, you know, you're going in expecting to do one thing and then you're asked to do something else even better than what you thought you were gonna be doing. And it was like, oh yeah, this is, I like this. I like being physically active and I like learning and, um the experience it was great director great producers um great actors um it was amazing yeah what more do you mind if i ask what movie it was uh from dusk till dawn <laughs> no way <laughs> yeah. wow yeah. I, that's my crush right there Salma hayek <laughs> uh, she is very beautiful yes oh. Wow, I just, yeah. <laughs> she has the, still has the, like the little beer bottle, like from the bar scene, like hanging yeah. out in, in her office. <laughs> so is that, the, is that the, the biggest movie that you've worked on? Or, I mean, has there been bigger movies? Um, oh, gosh, now I'm trying to think back. Because I retired quite some time ago. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of my resume right now. I mean, television comes easier to me because I did a lot more television than movies. Okay. Um, but like CSI Miami, I was on um, Baywatch, um, Scrubs. Oh my oh god! That's yeah, the, that's the one you have to you have to scale down the wall for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like side of a building, like bounce, bounce, break, break through a window. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, How do you? Know. How do you convince yourself to do it? Like, I mean, I've, I've been to Universe. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not the same, but I've been like Universal Studios, you know, when they show you like the stunt, the little stunt work and they set themselves on fire. They're doing something. I'm like, what, how do you prepare yourself to do those stunts? Um, I had repelled before, like gone out with different people to learn how to repel down the faces of rocks, cliffs, etc. cetera. Wow. And so that wasn't so bad. Okay. Um, but never having gone through a window before was a little like, oh boy, you get, you know, you got one shot to get this right and you better get it right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you just kind of have to just go and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, but you don't, you know, you don't mess that up. Um, cause I mean, it's a giant plate glass window, you know, the size of a plate glass window that you're going through and, I imagine that they're expensive and they don't want to bring a second one in and didn't even know if they had a second one available to bring in in case there was some kind of an accident or it went wrong or, um, but the actress that I doubled at that time, she was down on the ground. So as I hit the ground, mm. she popped right up. Like everything just, it went, it went well um, on that. And yeah, you just, for me, you know, um, cause I didn't come from a stunt family and, um, probably had minimal training compared to, you know, a lot of stunt people now. Um, <laughs> this dog, he's sneezing, he's coughing, he's got allergies. He wants the attention. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, yeah. So you just, I've always just kind of went for it, yeah. but I mean, I've never taken a job that was completely out of my realm of um, knowledge either. I got called for jobs a couple of times that, you know, I'm like, I could probably pull that off, but um, I didn't want to put myself in that position. You know, you mess up once significantly and yeah. you ain't going to get hired again. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was pretty careful. I took the easier jobs that I knew, you know, wouldn't require yeah. something that maybe I didn't have the skill set for. I don't know if I'd be able to do. I would. I don't think I'd be able to do the wrestling. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do the stunt. I don't think I'd be able to do ballroom dancing. 
I barely <laughs> dance now as it goes, as it is, you know? <laughs> I saw your little Instagram dance you posted the other day. Did like, I get some like, tens? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are so tired. <laughs> You're probably giving me the ones right there, huh? <laughs> No, it's good. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I call that uh David. I don't. Uh, it's not even salsa or merengue or anything. It's just David. <laughs> yeah. like it. have your own signature style. Mm. Yeah, that's all, that's all it is. You know, because I I was never a dancer. Even in prom, I was just like, oh my god, I just don't like dance. I don't like performing in front of people. So it's kind of uh, weird for me to dance. So I think that day I just like being a clown, so that's why I did the video. I was like, oh, I'll just do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. As long as you're having fun, then everybody else will. Yeah. Will have fun. Yeah. You know, when uh, you guys, since you guys both do uh, ballroom dancing, you guys like the uh, what's that show? Uh, Celebrity where they're dancing. Um, dancing with the stars. Dancing with the stars. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I, I watch it every like every once in a while. I like I watched it more when uh, Nikki Bella was on because I just wanted to see how she how she was doing. How did she? Do, how do you think she really did? I thought she did okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of, you know, she's not a trained dancer or anything, but I, I thought she did okay. Okay. She was good. I, mean, I still wanted her to win. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, come train with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I know, I know uh, she watches it all the time, right? You watch it all the time. I've watched oh, wow, almost every season. And that's kind of what got me. Um, I've never really been exposed to it before, and you know, he, several years after watching the show, I was like, "Damn, you know, I really, I really want to try that." You know, I'm, I was in the obligatory, you know, tap jazz ballet as a child, and it, I didn't get to continue with lessons, and I kind of missed that aspect of my life of dance. Um, and then watching Dancing with the Stars, it was like. You know, that's that's a whole avenue I never even thought of. And there's, you know, in American Smooth, the dances are so beautiful. And um, in rhythm, you know, it's a lot more active and, you know, hips. And um, and I actually started in the nightclub, uh, nightclub category, which is uh, salsa, merengue, uh, bachata, um, you know, hustle. And there's something else in there too. I can't remember. I think like two step or something like that. Yeah. So I started there, um, and then I had a different. Um, I had a teacher at that time who always saw me as a smooth girl, which is waltz, Viennese waltz, foxtrot, and tango. And I fought him for a long time on that because I never thought of myself as like this elegant person that should be wearing a ball gown, you know, with beautiful jewelry and. Um, I, I just didn't think I was, I don't know, feminine is the right word, but soft enough for, you know, that kind of style. So regal and so beautiful. And, um, but once I started training in it, it was kind of all over. It's my favorite style now. <laughs> um, it, I may not be, you know, super great at it, but it's what makes me feel good and I can kind of Zen out or, kind of put on this different persona. I guess like wrestling too, you know, you get to be somebody different. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it happens for you too when, when people put the stuff on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because in practice, like we practice all the time and I'm just kind of like, do, 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 okay, here we go. Yeah. And, she kind of like goes through the motion. But if I, I always tell her, I'm like, you have to, like to me, I'm performing even when I'm, it's, just me and her in the room, or mm -hmm. there's, you know, what I mean, I'm just always, I was just taught to always be on and perform, and no matter who's watching, if, if it's just, even if it's just myself, you know, what I mean, yeah. Well, I'm just professionally trained, um, <laughs> and I was not, so I'm learning by example. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't been able to kind of. I think I'm still thinking in my head. You know, I'm counting, and I'm like, okay, so this is happening here, and that's going to happen there, and. Um, but usually when I get out on the floor, I can kind of let it go and perform a little bit. Yeah. I, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm trying to get there. Louis, how long have you been uh, training for like ballroom dance? I mean, what age did you start? Uh, ballroom dancing itself. I want to say like probably 
two years after, so like 2017, so two years after. That's just the, just the ballroom, though. Yeah. But I've been <clears throat> like uh, doing all the like jazz, hip hop, ballet, a tap. I've been doing all that stuff for like 20 years, ever since. You I was used like, to teach a class too, right? Like, I, or you used to teach youth, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I ran a dance department. There you go. At a private school. Okay. Um, but also, I've taught all over LA, like at all the studios. Uh, I've taught master classes. I've choreographed everywhere. I used to perform in the nightclubs, and I used to have my own little dance crew, Fanatics. Shout out to Fanatics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I've been dancing for a while. But the ballroom stuff, only like a probably like five years now. Wow. What got you into the ballroom? Um, well, it's, it's something I always, I wanted to do. Um, and I knew that I, I was going to do it later in life because I wanted to do the commercial dancing and I have an agent. So they would send me out for like tours and I've done like music videos and all that stuff. So I was doing commercial dancing first. Yeah. Um, and that, that, that type of uh, dancer only has a certain, certain shelf life. You know I mean? It usually have to be between like 20 and 25. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's usually the, wow. The, the age where you're young, hip and that. trendy. <laughs> That's usually the age when you're young, hip and trendy. Um, yeah. And then, uh, so I knew ballroom was something I wanted to do later. And uh, my friend uh, actually brought me in and he had a studio at the time. And, uh, Basically, it's a, you just have to learn from a book. It's it's a lot of syllabus stuff because it's a lot of patterns. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff already. Everybody is already everybody learns the same patterns, and then you go do them. And it's so it's how you stylize the patterns and how's your frame and stuff. That's what you get judged on because everybody's pretty much doing the same moves. Yeah. Um, but it's just like how well are you doing them? Are you doing them the way the book said it? Are you guys? You know, because it, everything in ballroom is so precise. Like, you have to be standing, like, split body. And if you're doing the waltz and stuff, you have to lead with your heel and go up on your toes. If you're doing the rhythm stuff, you have to go uh, ball heel and stuff. So it's, <laughs> yeah, there, there's all, all these little rules, but uh, but everybody's doing the same stuff. It's just who's doing it the best. And that's what you get judged. That's what I never understood about like the dancing with the stars out. Now it makes sense because I was like, they're all doing the same dance. Like, you know, mm -hmm. why, why do some get fives and you know, this one did eight, but you know, or, or somebody gets a 10 or whatever it is. And you're just like, I, you know, somebody that's never danced like, or does ballroom like myself. It's like, well, what are you guys actually looking for? Cause the dances, I mean, unless you're like a really bad dancer like myself, you would probably mm -hmm. you know, get judged very low, you know, but because, I've seen the show where there's really stiff, you know, dancers. But when there's somebody like, you know, like Nikki Bella, and then you have somebody like, you know, I don't know, I forgot who was on the season with her, but, you know, and they look good. You're like, well, how did she get a six and he got a seven for that same exact dance? Yeah. I mean, I think there's other things involved, though. I mean, you know, there's chemistry between dancers. Um, you know, if you have a partner and it's just like, there's no connectivity it which that which that happens all the time too like right we often on the dance floor see people where one partner's usually usually the teacher's <laughs> into it and then the other partner is kind of just sleeping on the job is what is what some of the other <laughs> is what some of the other coaches would say <laughs> <laughs> so which yeah. championship means more the ballroom championship or the or the destination six co-championship um Oh, I, don't, I think they both mean. Yeah. That's the right answer. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's they're both different worlds, but they both. I don't know because too. Also, we we uh, there was one point uh, when we're heels when we when we wear heel we we wear our uh, um we wear our medals to the ring. <laughs> yeah, the ball <laughs> yeah, like we're telling all like yeah, look at the king and queen at the dance floor. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. So we wear we wear those to the ring. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I think they're both they're both important. You know what's, <laughs> what's crazy to me is that you guys have. I mean, you know, the stunt work, the ballroom dancing, wrestling, and it's, it's what's crazy to me is like it's all like different but same at the same time because you know 
it's like when I did um when I finally got a booth at RuPaul's DryCon. I'm like, oh. how are how are they not putting them together wrestling and DryCon together when it's so extravagant and you have all yeah. these, you know? And that's mm -hmm. like the ballroom, like just like you mentioned it, like you know, you, you get to be somebody different and you know, you're you you know, you know, you're not your you're yourself, but you know, you kind of get to escape being yourself for a, a few, you know, a few hours or you know. It must feel good too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I mean, and speaking of drag queens, we'll be we'll be in um, Vegas for the Loud and Proud show. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is July twenty sixth at the LGBT Center. Oh, dude, I keep saying I don't know why I keep saying July. Yeah, I don't June? know why July is over my probably because my birthday is in July. But. Mm -hmm. June, so June nineteenth, I'm in uh, Santa Clara, and then June twenty sixth, we'll, we'll both be. In Vegas, because hope maybe her uh, her leg should probably be. There. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just gimp out with you and you know, like <laughs> hang out on the side. But I'll be there somehow, <laughs> some way, doing something. We'll get you a little. Pimp, we'll get you a little pimp cane. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a disco stick. There we go. Oh, yeah. There you go. We'll, 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 you guys can put uh, what is it? The the oh, what is it? They call it all the little sparkling stuff all over it. And, yeah, yeah, like the. Pulling it out. Crystals and things. Yeah. yeah. I got somebody out of that. Right? <laughs> just go ball and just whack them. <laughs> you can have it break over their heads when you when uh -huh. you hit them with a disco ball. It can go everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's been your guys' favorite like match that you guys have been in or been involved in? Um, I want to say my favorite as of right now would probably be the street fight just because i went through a table and there's just a bunch of stuff that like i was getting suplexed on the floor and you know just, there's just stuff that, that happened in that match that i would i never thought that i would do yeah uh, but in the moment i was just like let's go and i was just like let's do it so i would have to say i think the street fight for me right now is and who did you wrestle in that one uh, R.J. Hernandez. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Do you have a favorite so far? Uh, I'm, I mean, like, okay, so it's only been two times now, right? Yeah, or any of the times you've been, like, manager. Not manager Even as a manager, do you have a favorite match you participated in? Actually, the, the, the one we did for um, the toy drive, the Santa Claus one was fun, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that was ridiculously funny. Yeah. So I was just managing, but um, I got in the ring and I got to crack Santa in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that was called the bad Santa, and it was uh, Aiden Way. Uh, yeah, we we in the mid during the match though, I got spanked, she got spanked, the ref got spanked. Yeah. <laughs> and then bad Santa beer misted me at the end, and and then, and, then, and then she kicked him in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you have that has to be the favorite because that's that's too fun. Yeah, that, no, yeah, I, that, that match was a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> How about a favorite yeah. moment? Um, oh, my favorite opponent. There's a few. Yeah. Or <laughs> I, uh, if we have to edit the other names because, you know. <laughs> so that's because I know, right? Um, I would say RJ now, like I've wrestled him the most probably out of, I think, anybody that I've ever wrestled. So... I think RJ is one of my favorites to wrestle. Uh, and also uh, The Shade. He's a, a Vegas wrestler. Um, and he's also, I've wrestled him a few times, I think like three or four times. And he's he's fun too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, those are, I think I enjoy wrestling them, those guys, a lot. Yeah, that, Lita, <laughs> you have a wrestler. I mean, I'm sure Louis must have been your favorite opponent, right? <laughs> right? I think I took care of her. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, you know, because there was this big storyline going on with RJ, you know, when we did, we were both went after him. Yeah. And um, he was a really good sport. And then on my second match that I did by myself, I did a short match oh, yeah, by yeah. myself. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, um, RJ kind of gave me some pointers and some information that uh, was good for that match. And 
um, who else? Like the shade uh, when we were in Vegas, more towards the beginning of the year, there was a lot of stuff going on in my life. And um, I knew that eventually we were going to have to do this three-way match. Um, we went to versus pro wrestling and he and um, another guy, hollow point, they worked with me for a little while on some moves and yeah, I, that's what I mean. Like everybody so far that I've met predominantly, not everybody, but most people have been really, really cool. And yeah. yeah. She got really like, for her first match, she got tips from Chris Jericho. Like, I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, she t Chris Jericho was in one of her promos. And uh, she's good, good friends with uh, Thunderbolt from Glow. Mm -hmm. So she was giving her tips too during for her first match. You know what I mean? So it was really cool. The way her first match got got built up because there was some some cool people yeah. giving her tips and and stuff. So dang, uh, that is that was, amazing. <laughs> mm, yeah, that was it was it was cool. It was really cool. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite so far? Like your favorite memory so far in wrestling? Or you guys I think winning the winning the co type the co titles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say yeah. Probably it's, being. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can go ahead. Sorry. Oh, uh, no. I was going to say, probably because of the friendship. I mean, and, and you know, you guys seem like BFFs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are. We are. Winning the championships, you know, while well, you won, what, the ballroom? You, how many ballroom championships have you guys won? Uh, we have. Yeah, I have five, I'm, I have five medals. <laughs> I don't remember. I know, I know we're like Walt, Tango, Foxtrot champs. Yeah, three down. Um, and then for the stuff we choreographed. So, yeah, I know I have like five five medals. <laughs> and so so, winning, <laughs> so <laughs> winning all those and then winning the, the uh, a championship in wrestling, that's what I'm saying. It must, it must have meant a lot to, you know, to win that. Yeah, it's it's cool, and we're, and again, we're yeah, we're in a really cool spot. Like, again, we get to mix the wrestling on the uh, ballroom dance floor, and mm -hmm. and also mix the ballroom dancing and the wrestling. You know what I mean? So, it's really cool the way it gets the crossover, and, yeah. and I, I feel lucky that we I get to pull from yeah both worlds and incorporate them and and stuff. It's it's, it's cool. And now do the you get a lot I, as a face? Do you get a lot of the kids, you know, coming out and dancing too? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't notice them dancing as much, but um, whenever we're doing like a, we come out and do, sell merch and stuff, we do take pics and pictures with everyone and stuff. So, but but it's been catching on. I've been noticing because one of my signature moves is disco balls. Yeah. So I noticed, yeah I noticed when like I, I started yelling disco balls that I could hear the now that the crowds are back. Yeah. I can. Them. I can hear them uh, shouting it. You know what I mean? I spent I spent the whole COVID building up this disco ball, disco balls move. <laughs> shirt in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's basically a, a bronco buster, but I have them lay on the floor, yeah. and then I I run and jump off the ropes, and then I basically teabag them three times, and then I hit them with an elbow afterwards. <laughs> so that's that's disco balls right there, <laughs> and, that, and that's what inspired the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would, I would, <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, a couple of years ago, you were uh, going to put on a show. Uh -huh. It was supposed to be in West Hollywood, right? Originally. Yeah, West Hollywood, yeah. Are you going to do another one soon or? Uh, no, probably not. I, I'm going to stick more to the wrestling and it, it's, it's a lot trying to throw a show and promote a show and. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe later, later in the future. But right now, I'm just gonna stick to being the king of the dance floor and uh, winning titles. <laughs> it was a good idea. The only advice I give you is you gotta get a, you gotta get some, uh, some. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember, so. yeah, I remember you being like, "Oh, you guys, you guys needed uh, some of the yeah. bigger guys in there." <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had some guys on there. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no offense to anybody, but you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, Cody's ready for some airtime right there. I know, yeah. <laughs> there he is. 
all uptight and starts whining. He's like, hey. <laughs> You know, you say you're going to do the uh, one more. I'm sorry. I know I said one more, but here's the okay. one I wanted to ask you. You have the show in, in June, uh, mm -hmm. June 20, the one in Vegas? Uh, June 26th. June 26th. How important is that show to, to you guys? Like, it, considering like Pride Month and everything and, mm -hmm. you know, how important is it, you know, more important than other shows or like, you know, do you want to go all out on that show or? Um. I mean, it's it's important. I'm, it's we we did it uh, two years ago, also, um, and of course, it's great to be seen. You know, what I mean, doing those t the those type of shows because there's not a lot of uh, shows that happen during Pride and, and yeah. people not uh, promoting that. So, I mean, it's important. It's about it's a fundraiser for the LGBT Center, first of all. So it's important for us to give back and you know s spend our time there, give give back to the center and also just, you know, I mean, be positive and spread love and yeah. love and not hate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel when I go to the RuPaul's Dry Con, I'm like, man, there's so much positive energy in there. And then you walk out and you're like, ah, back to the real world we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's important. It's just as important as, but I, I think all the shows are important. And yeah. Everybody that we come across is important. And then, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like we've gotten trouble from different causes, mm -hmm. and they are important. You know, uh, what was the one in? Um, amped up. Yeah, amped up for the um, ability first. Yeah, it was ability first, like a right. community center, and you know, whenever you have the opportunity to go in and be a part of something like that, and to feel like you're able to give and help. Um, in whatever way that you can, uh, it's it's really cool. It's a really good feeling. You know, you feel like you're doing something good and it makes you feel good in return. Now, um, before we wrap up, you want to promote all the social media and all the uh, all the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can follow me. Um, my pro wrestling account uh, on Instagram is kinglumi54. Um, and then I have my personal account, which is Dancing Louie, D-N-C-N-L-O-U-I-E. And with Dancing Louie, that's my Facebook, my Twitter, my YouTube. Um, I think that's, that's it for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then we also have Janie and Louie together. Yeah, okay. that's on all platforms, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And then I have uh, Lita LeMay on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just okay. <laughs> connect, connect you all to the connect <laughs> Right. Yeah. And any upcoming shows you want to promote uh, or remind them of? I know you said the 16th? Uh, June 19th, uh, nice. Santa Clara. Uh, then June 26th, uh, Vegas. Yeah. And then July, next July, we'll be back in uh, Destination. We'll be back at Destination Six in a cage match. So, oh wow! Who who are you guys facing? Uh, we don't know yet. Actually, we'll see who what happens. They're having a show on the nineteenth, also. Uh, but of course, I'll be at the uh, at the other one. Uh, so I won't find out my opponent until that show goes down, and and then I'll be cutting the promo about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Maybe. I, I might yeah. challenge myself. There we go. <laughs> Not really. I probably would. I probably wouldn't even survive thirty seconds. <laughs> the I'll entry make you, I'll would be enough. I'll make you look good. <laughs> All right, it. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for doing the podcast. Yay! Thank you, thank you so much us. for having us. I know. I can't wait to come back in there and shop. Yes, <laughs> and we'll, we'll do it, and we'll do the podcast again, but in in person. How about that? Sweet. That'll be fun. I just gotta. I just gotta put the kids somewhere so they won't bug me and take up my time. <laughs> right, <laughs> and, and we'll leave. We'll leave Cody at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guest of honor. Come on. <laughs> right. I want to thank Louie and Lita for being on the show, and this is uh, David from the Wrestling Guy. Hey, bye, guys. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Yeah.